Here we are, coming up on Starbucks. Good morning, everybody. Picking up Starbucks for lunch, I guess you would say, for Sarah and myself. Good work day so far. Hopefully it doesn't, hopefully it stays that way, it doesn't go crazy. Um, interviewed for a new job in my company. So hopefully we'll have news about that in the next coming days or weeks. So, but that was going well and then just standard work. up a sibling. This is the first experience together, James. Oi, oi. Unlike your other siblings, this one wasn't frozen with you. <gasps> what? You never got to meet this one yet. You got to meet Sweet Pea and all the others frozen. I talked to them today about um, long-term storage. What? Well, you didn't tell me about this yet? Are they I doing it? No. Um, I, it's not like through our nurse, so like she told me who to talk to, but... We think it's three years, right? So by the time the baby's born... I thought it was two years, if I'm being honest. Well, I had to look into it anywho because of different details with the, the rent that we've been paying recently. I know, it's so exciting. Where are you going? We have made it to Maggiano and we are sitting outside for the first time. Ever. We usually come here like Christmas, yeah. right? But it's so nice. We got oh nice straw. <laughs> we got our bread. Oh, got paper. We're outside. They have the street closed off for you to eat and we're gonna get some starters and we're gonna get some pastas maybe. Gotta figure it out. We realized we're in we're in happy hour, so I got a I got a martini. I don't always do that. Martini. Sarah's gonna make up our classic. We, this is the best place to, that she does it at. James is eating a bunch of bread, and we're gonna get some calamari. I'm gonna make us eat your own. Oh, I love that plan. Thank you. Sarah's gonna get. I'm gonna get the baked ziti. Taylor she baked ziti. We're gonna get calamari. And what are you getting? For your pasta. Four cheese rav. And then some kind of dessert. They've had these little sugar packets forever. I used to collect them as a child. And here is our oil and parm. My pomegranate martini showed up. And it's happy hour, so there's deals. So I might even get a second one. Oh my gosh, it smells I'm like I'm not Christmas. driving night, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Did we say that we ordered the little like dinner for two thing? We did. It's called Marco's Meals, so get with it. Um, so we get an appetizer, two pasta entrees, and dessert. I can't believe it either, James. It's such a good deal. We were gonna get calamari, but they were out of it. So we got meatballs, which was like kind of from left field, but they smell so good. I don't know how I feel about it. It's not being made by your mother or any aunt. That's really why I was like throwing up on a second. <laughs> Holy ravioli. I always say that. <laughs> We unintentionally got what we served at our wedding. So these are four cheese ravioli with pesto alfredo. And that's the big seedy Taylor Street deliciousness. James just munching on some bread. James has been staring at the ground and we thought he was falling asleep. And then I looked over and there's this sweet little bird waiting for me to drop food. Zoom though. What is that? Wow. 
What? He said, get out of here. James versus a bird. Right, we ordered dessert, but I also ordered a cappuccino. <laughs> Look at this apple crostata. I'm gonna be honest, when you ordered that, I had no idea what it was. <laughs> but that looks delicious. Yeah. You got caramel sauce? He's learning still. <laughs> Still loves the bread the most. Alrighty, here is our famous Beatrix. Oh. We've talked about this place a gazillion times because there's supposed to be one going to Disney Springs. I don't think it's happening. The fate is unknown. We actually went to Beatrix two weekends ago with some special friends in Oak Brook. Alright, so the Earhart's were at a wedding last night. So Carolyn, you won't hear Oh! It's the it's the Earhart's. Kieran. They're, everyone's tired, they were at a wedding. Carolyn doesn't have her voice anymore. I lost my voice because my husband had an amazing wedding. <laughs> but we are Beatrix and they have delicious coffee. The kids got banana breads, it's coming. All the kids got banana breads. And we're gonna brunch it. Even him. The banana bread has arrived. All the kids got banana bread. Are you sleepy, baby? It's really good. It looks really good. Here, let's see Katie see what you think. Mm. <laughs> Look at this avocado toast with jalapenos. That looks spicy. Ooh, you got blueberry pancakes? No, not blueberry. Oh, they're just lemon. Ooh, lemon with blueberry. James is getting a little antsy. <laughs> yeah, he's looking at everybody's food like, what the? Look at that breakfast sandwich. Looks good. I got shashuka. It smells so yummy. That's sriracha aioli. What did you get? I got a quinoa mushroom burger. Looks delicious. James is like, I am getting some of that. <laughs> James is making all kinds of fun. Ooh. <laughs> Alrighty, just a quick little visit with our dearest <laughs> with our dearest pals. They happen to be in town and so we met out here at Oak Brook Center to have lunch. It was really good. Sunny. Did you like what you got? I loved it, yeah. Yeah, it was really good. And we did not leave. <laughs> we got snacks and dessert snacks. <laughs> so we've explained before that we love Beatrix. We used to go there all the time our first year of marriage um, in between Peter's overnight shift and my job. And they would have chocolate covered pound cake, which is like close to angel food cake. So they have this chocolate covered angel food cake muffin. I think it's the closest thing. Is it close to it? Oh yeah, look at that Delicious. cake. Oh wait, I'll, I'll bite into mine. It's so good. This is like, if not the same cake, very, very close. It's so good. I brought all these delicious cookies for Vivi to taste test. And what do you want? You want those ones instead? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because they're good and mint. Yeah, you're right. They are good. But we'll have these later? Yeah. Okay. We actually never ended up posting that vlog, but it's very nice. We love it. It's got nice pumpkins, nice seating. It's great. And I really wanted to go to Disney Springs. How was your dinner? Delicious. And I had lots of leftovers. And we are. I've been really good about taking leftovers home and not forcing myself to finish them. I know. We're definitely like clean plate club people. Where do you want to go? Back that way. I don't know where they are. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. He got his socks off. <laughs> Ooh, stinky feet. Oh man, we are in Italy. If you've ever, if you've never been to Chicago or never been to Italy, come to Italy. It's like neighborhood setups of like markets, but also like made to order food. We came into Italy. We have not been here 
in a very long time. Look at all this pasta. If you don't know what Italy is, it's multiple stories of like marketplace, like where you can get, there's like a pasta section, there's a cheese section, there's a wine section, and then there's restaurants where you can like eat little bits or eat a full meal or kind of just eat your way through the whole thing. Samples, little bar stools where you can just like sit for a second and like chat with the people who work here. It's really nice. And a shop. What are you looking at? Can I get this a flask! There is even a cooking school. When we first moved back, this wasn't fully open anymore. Excited to see it open. Yeah. I told Sarah we should get one of these for our olive oil because this place has got all the different regional olive oils. Look at all of that. We should see what kind of balsamic vinaigrette they have. I like this. What we make today, we sell today. Fresh mozzarella. Here's where it is. And they got all the, the aged cured meats and cheeses over here. Look at it. Look at it. I love this. Some Parmesan Reggiano. That half wheel right there, 1100 bucks. So many cookies and sweets. I love this place. What? A message from this empty calendar? I think, here we go, yeah. Alrighty. Enthusiasm moves the world, Arthur Bofer. <laughs> Confession, Lucky's disappointed me yesterday and that's why we had to go to Maggiano's today. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. And Peter had an interview, so there was more to celebrate. I also dropped the camera today, so prayers for that. Oh, he doesn't want to be in the sign off. What do you want over there? Oh gosh. Wow! <laughs> He's trying to tell you it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>